Gary Buster Holmes. Welcome back to Yakuza Like a Dragon. Um, yeah, the last episode was a lot of uh, kind of like side questing, a whole bunch of uh, talking and my horrible reading skills. But I have a feeling this episode's going to uh, pick up pretty, pretty quickly. Um, we're going to go find out why Nanoha, I think that's her name, why she hasn't been at work. Um... They think that she definitely not get hit with a card, cause I I found out that. Wait, can I leap over that? Yosh. Okay. I'm gonna pretend you didn't do that. But anyway, um, wait, it was on this side. God damn it. Or is it? I'm I'm confused. I'm confused. Woo! Don't get hit with that. Oh, it's that way. Okay, cool. <laughs> but um, they're saying that she might be skimping out on some money because she's taking her private services privately. Um, I really need to clean my glasses, but oh well. Damn, it's full. Hey, look over there. Do we even know what she looks like? Okay, we do. Let's now run. Her. Let's get some answers out of her. I feel like that's not gonna work if we just walk in there. Never admit to it. We should only interrogate her after we have proof. I say we trust the former detective on this one. Facts. Fine. Sorry, we're full right now. Oh, I'm meeting someone inside. Hmm. He's sitting down with Nanoha. Maybe she's dating him on the side. Could be. Let's try an eavesdrop on their conversation. And how are we gonna do that? Do that. Exactly. I hear anything out here? Let me guess. He's good at reading lips. Kasuga, call me on your phone. Okay. That is not his ringtone. I'm very sorry, but we're full right now. Oh, please, can I just use the bathroom? Oh, seriously, man, I'm about to piss myself. Uh, sure. Go ahead. There's no way. There's no. There's no way. There's no way the dude didn't see that. What? Sorry, you had to come all the way out here. I'm just got to have suspension of disbelief because. Yeah. Are you all right? You look really tired. Oh, it's my health problems. <laughs> These days. We should get down to it. First of all. Hold up. He said money. He's got to be her other man. Wait, man. Hold your horses. Let's see the transaction go down. Somehow I have to get two million yen. Huh? Huh? Three million left to go then. If you'd Ten days from now, we can carry out the procedure. Bro, fix your phone! Oh, we're here with these androids. Let me stop. I, I can't even make fun of androids because I, I have an android. Your father deserves to be at peace. You said it yourself. After all this time, don't you want that for him? No, please. What is this signal? I have no idea what they're saying. Everything will be alright. You and your father 
Deserve peace? I'd like to see him one last time. I can't do that. But I feel so guilty. Please. I understand your concerns, but we're done here. Well, that didn't tell us nothing, really. Two million. Nothing to sneeze at. You think Nanoha-san's wrapped up in something bad? Like what? I don't know. We just have to ask her and find out. That's not gonna work. Uh, Ichiban! Uh, sorry. Hey, old man. Apologies don't fix much, you know. Yeah. How are you going to make this right? He's got a broken foot. <sighs> Come on, not this shit. Sorry, we're in a hurry. If you don't got time to do the right thing, get out your wallet and hand us a couple grand. Leave us alone, man. See ya. Not so fast! Alright, well... I had a feeling someone's going to pop off, but I didn't think it was going to be this soon. Alright. That's a lot of health on that man. Ordinary Yakuza. Or ordinary, I'm sorry. Uh. Cotton? Gokaku no Jutsu! Are you okay? I did it too early. Bust the wolf. Don't even think about it. I don't know why I ran all the way over there. I should have just... Nah. Boop. Bang. I kind of wish Kasuka had more MP though, to be honest. Just a, just a little bit more. Him, his defense is getting up there, which is good. Agility's going up there too. But yeah, he's definitely going to be my tank. So I'm guessing my last person, because I know there's four people. I'm guessing the last person is gonna be a healer. Damn it! Shit! Bad time to get interrupted. Where's Nanoha? Ah! Die, die. Capsule, capsule hotel. Yeah, I don't know, Chief. She got away. We lost her. What? <laughs> what should we do? Head back to the soapland? Even if we did, we wouldn't have anything to report. Go. Hey. Wait. Never mind. I thought that was a police chief. Yeah. Want to follow him? Yeah. Could be our ticket. So I'm guessing. Oh, never mind. They're okay. Thank you. Because I was like, I don't feel like trying to tail behind somebody. Am I recording? Yeah, I'm recording. I don't feel like having to tail behind someone. I'm I'm good. I'm, I'm good with that. Excuse me. These loading times are making me tired. Uh oh. That does kind of look like the police chief. But then again, I haven't seen him in like two chapters, so I don't know. Yeah, that ain't him. Never mind. Fancy? Yeah, but we can't get in there without a car key. Clearly. Hmm. And they even have security cameras. The Social Welfare Corporation? Sounds like an old folks home. Pretty classy building, huh? That's from the Meiji era, as I recall. It used to be a bank. But I thought some... Nonprofit foundation bought it decades ago. Sure looks luxurious for a nonprofit. I can smell the money from out here. Okay, so we know Nano has been working at the soapland to pay for her death. Nampa sounds like right? a character from yeah. Way of the Samurai. Maybe this is where he's being taken care Maybe of. Maybe the second one. And also, 
Maybe that man she met at the cafe is like it kind of sounds like the doctor. I don't know if anyone played sense. We have the She's samurai that too, guy but to keep her dead in a nice place. It's hardly shady. I don't care how classic the joint is. Nobody would pay two mil in cash. Plus, why would she pay her dad's rent at a cafe? Very true. Yeah. That's a good point. Remember what they said when we eavesdropped? She begged to see her dad, and it didn't move him at all. He just said no. Hmm. What exactly are you gonna say? Huh? Yes, we... this is the front desk of Sunlight Castle. Uh, is there a man living here with a daughter named Nanoha? Do you mean Nanoha Mukoda? Yes, her father is a resident here. How may I help you? We work with Nanoha at the same place of business. Can we come in? I'm sorry, but only family are allowed to visit. That was predictable. We're not here to see him, actually. The truth is, I'm looking for a home for my own father. Nanoha san said your facility is great, so I wanted to check it out. I'm terribly sorry. You can't come inside unless accompanied by a current lessee. Really? Yes. If you wish to explore the layouts of our rooms, please visit our homepage online. <laughs> You can submit questions on that page as well. It's very convenient. Goodbye. They don't even let you tour a room? Something's definitely shady about this place. Yep. Go ahead and use that detective's eye. And they have cameras on the outside. Really bad rendered cameras, but camera. <laughs> I gotta stop shitting on this. <laughs> Alright. So now we're going to go back. Okay, I didn't think I'd be able to open that, but... I wonder if there's, like, any type of treasure. What about this side? Yup! I knew it would be one of them. Give me that. Rose seeds. So sorry. Can you, can you leap down? No, you can't leap down from there. Alright, so what I need to do... Is go back to the soap lands, but before that, I'm gonna do a side quest. So I'll be back, and we're back. Um, I got my ass beaten. I died <laughs> at one point. But yeah, I leveled up some stuff at the school. Come on. Does that mean I pass? Yosh! Woo! Thank you. Oh. And I uh, guess I'm doing a side quest really quick. What is this? A trip to. Hey, what you got there? Trip Who to Poundtown. Town. for a sex shop or something. <laughs> Nothing a couple of penniless mooks like us need to worry about. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hold the phone. It says the first person to call gets free service. What? That sounds way too good to be true. They'll find some way to squeeze money out of you. I guarantee. Yeah. Well, uh, we won't know until we call. Take it from the guy born out of soap land. It's a scam. Hey now, things might have changed while you were locked up. Give it here. Here we go. If you make me lose any more money. First person to call. <laughs> you snooze, you lose. Hello, how can I help you? Yeah, hi. Uh, saw your ad. Said something about the first caller being free. Oh, yes. Thank you. You are the very first. So this one is indeed on us. All right, and uh, you're, you're sure it won't cost anything? Nope, nothing at all. Now may I please have your name and current location? Oh, right, it's uh, Koichi Adachi, and right now I'm kind of near Ohama Street. Oh, and that place can be quite dangerous too. Understood. I'll send over our most popular... I'm worried, right I'm worried. 
your most popular? <laughs> oh, you guys really go all out for this first free collar thing, huh? We want you to know how great we are. Now then, we have them en route to your location. Huh? What, you're sending someone to me? Like not a hotel or something? Wait, is this one of those meet-up deals? So, how'd it go? <laughs> Get this. They're sending their most popular girl over here. For free. How am I about to get trolled? Where is it? Really, I swear. How am I how am I about to get trolled? Stay competitive. They said she'd be here soon. Sorry for the wait. Huh? They sent over a ninja. Are you? Are you a Hadaki Sama? Yeah, that's me. Sorry for the wait. I'm Gary Buster Holmes from Poundmates. Poundmates? Is is that the sex shop? <laughs> no, no. Oh, okay. Poundmates sends people to help you fight. Help us fight? Hey, you shitheads are making way too much noise. That's it. I'm gonna shut you guys up. What? Oh. A handy group of punks, just in time for your first call. Okay, I don't know what's going on here, but let's go, Kasuga. Yeah. I feel like she can rock you with the, the... Cool. Pound mates are powerful allies with a wide... With a wide range of abilities, call of them in costs money. The price depends on the pound mate pause. Although your first call to each pound mate is free. Get alive. Wanna fight? What? Pound mates. Take your best shot. So it's just like summons. So this is a summon? I was right. It summons. It's a summon. Gary Buster Holmes. Actually, don't know what to say. Oh, wow. Holy shit! They're too strong. Now, this game. For the this fate, game. Sudden death or suds on breasts? What's it gonna? What? Be? <laughs> We're sorry. Your free trial is over. Next time will cost money. Looking forward to it. Yeah, sure. Okay then. Goodbye. What just happened? The hell just happened here. Exactly. Fuck if I know. Man, why is it gotta be so hard to get laid? Hound mates, huh? Well, it ain't free, and I'm not sure it's sexy, but I think I can see the appeal. Well, um, I unlock summons. Cool. Gary Buster Holmes. Just, just, just wow. Um. Anyway, back to the story. What the fuck? Wait. There's another. There's another. There's another side quest. Hand it over already. Huh? What's going on? I'm saying hand over the baby formula. You looking to lose some teeth? No, please. My baby's waiting for me. 
Like I give a shit. Just buy the little snot more. We need that formula right now. This is absurd. Why would the Yakuza be baby formula? I'm still trying to process what happened. I'm sorry. Baby, don't cry. It's up story seven. going on here, but it looks like he might need some help. Help out, oh, sure runner. Guess I'll give him a hand. Hey, not sure what the deal is over here. That formula's his, right? Huh? Who the hell are you? You his buddy or something? Nah, never met the guy. Just passing through. Someone's always gotta poke their nose into this shit. Okay, fine. Uh oh, music's going place. away. Let's go. Time for me to bust up your glasses. What's up? 103 or you're screwed. I mean, you can have a knife all you want, but... Yeah. Level 13? Ugh. Ugh. What's up? You better get up. Sorry. Should've got up. I told you. Should've got up. Thank you for that money, though. Easy enough. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I need to get a new weapon for Adachi-san. Alright, go ahead and run on. Run off. Go, go ahead. Run off like those people that try to walk into my cutscenes. Glad Hello. that's over. Hey, you okay? Hi. Thank you. You're very kind. To think you'd even... Really? Hey, what's wrong? Don't go crying on me. Sorry for breaking down like that. It's been a while since someone been so kind to me. So it really hit home. Nah, don't sweat it. I'm Kasuka. I'm Masada Oshima. Oshima. Thanks for saving me. Nah, wasn't I wasn't about to leave you hanging. I'd like to give you something as little thanks, but all I have is this formula, mm -hmm. okay? That's for your hey. kid? Yes. I'm I'm a newly minted father of a son. He's a cute little guy too. There's always little sorts of things you need when you have a kid, and I figured I should start saving up for the future. So I've been working my butt off day and night. Yeah, well, I'm single, so I don't know much about all that. But don't overwork yourself. Won't do you much good if you're dead. Facts. So kind of you to say so, Kasuga-san. My, my, my wife would never say something like that. Mm. Yes, she's been pretty cold to me lately. I'll come home from a long shift, and she won't even say hi. She used to be... Oh, here comes the music. She used to be so sweet to me. She even did all the cooking and cleaning and what have you. But lately, she's been having me do the housework. I'll tell her I'm really tired from work. But all I get is, you have no idea how hard it is to raise a child. She's always blowing a fuse. <sighs> I don't understand. We should be in sync when it comes to our kid, right? I just want my son to be happy. Sounds like he could use some advice. <laughs> what I would say... No, let me stop. Okay. Have a heart to heart with your wife. Hey. Hmm? Huh? No. I guess I've never asked. Still, you've got to have money, right? Yeah, of course. Imagine having a baby. I'm mad. I imagine having a baby is pretty tough. I mean, his whole future is in your hands, and I can't even understand what you're seeing yet. Sure, it can be tough, but I bet there's some kind of emotional struggle going on too. Emotional struggle? Yeah. Being a parent is being a parent's a huge responsibility. Shouldering all that responsibility by yourself's gotta mm -hmm. probably gotta be a lot. My kindness went up. I'm pretty sure you want someone who will listen. Say it safe to say your wife wants to hear that from you. Just like how you came to me for advice yourself. You're really something, Kasuka son. For a single guy, you sure know a, lo <laughs> a lot about parenting. Well, yeah, well, I never had parents. I was born in a massage parlor, so I raised. I was raised by the staff there. And as I got older, I learned all about the people who took care of me. You know, changed my diapers or whatever. Maybe it's thanks to them. <clears throat> Is that right? To have been born at a massage parlor, I guess people can come from just about anywhere. The idea of facing my wife, though, just a thought alone scares me. You hear that? Could it be? 
It's coming from in there. You think it's... You think it's just like you, kasuga -san? There's no way. Mm. Birthing a child in a place without the proper care is dangerous. Mm. Exactly. Good point. Uh. I know. Let's 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 make this baby formula and bring it to them. We don't know if the baby can drink the mother's milk yet. We're gonna need some hot water. God damn it! I'm gonna have to go all over the place. And once the water cools off a little, we might be, we might even be able to help wash the baby. What the? F what am I getting into right now? You think you can handle the water, Kasuga-san? As for me, I think there's some towels left over at my work, so I'll grab those. Where am I supposed to get hot water? Let's meet back up here. I'm leaving it to you, Kasuga-san. What am I doing? What am I actually doing? I feel like I got the short end of the stick here. Okay, hot water. Right. I could try that at the cafe. I got the hot water. I'm back. Yes, I got the yeah. hot water. All right. That was like a really quick side quest too. Hey, are you all right? Is there anything we can do to? Huh? <laughs> oh, Susumu-chan, you're so needy. Okay, time for Baba. <laughs> and that is what uh, we call our uh, littles. Uh. If that's what you're all up fuckers with the baby formula. Like I was gonna say, if that's what you're into, to each his own. I got no hate. It just caught me off guard, that's all. Sorry to bother you boys. Uh, yo, let's go. Uh, yes, goodbye. Not so fast, chief. You got balls stepping into my big comfy crib. Think you can waltz in here and spoil our fun? Come on, boys. Let's pacify this bitch. Sir! All right, um, none of them are weak to that. Uh, what about Katon Gokaki no Jutsu? Watch this. Hopefully hit some other people too. Or not. Wait. Okay, why? Nice. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, I didn't get it. <laughs> Whoa, that was close. Get out. I mean, I tried to mash it and I didn't get it off, but, um... I think I can just do a regular attack. Yep. Try another reckless charge. Marata! Okay or not. Shut up. Dang. Whoa. Some money. Got my money back. I lost. Yeah, I need to find an ATM machine. ASAP. Not bad. Apologies for barging in here, but this this is all just a huge misunderstanding. It is. Uh, I'm listening. Well, actually. I 
I get it. You thought my crying was from a real baby. Yes, we're really sorry for ruining your uh, fun. No, no, I wasn't aware. I'm the one who's sorry. Days a crying baby's more likely to get scowls than anything else. To think you'd do that for a baby you don't even know. <laughs> what are your names? Ichiban Kasuka. Ichiban Kasuka. Uh, Masato Oshima. I see. My names, both of you. My name's Susumu Gondawara. Seems my men troubled you for some baby. Food. Did I just get another summon? Boys. Get these two some new baby formula on the double. Uh, yes, sir. Facts. Oh, well, we're actually quite all right on the baby formula. Please, no, no need to trouble yourselves. I step out of the house for a quick errand and I'm gone for an eternity. My wife's gonna kill me. Oh, come on. You'll just be a little late. <laughs> old lady that scary apparently so mm, no she's just been a little strained lately i've been working my butt off for the sake of our child but all she does is nag at me masato chan do you understand how hard it is to raise a kid have you ever bothered to help your wife even just a little what like just hold sorry a lot of it, it just you have to support their neck until someone I knew in my personal life we're not friends no more but uh no matter how small the task Oof. babies are weak that kind of reminded me of a situation they're in but anyway your wife for being a little stressed out huh that's right Saya Chan's telling the truth when us babies get our milk we gotta burp so we need a little backpack <laughs> There's all sorts of shit like that. Now that you mention it, she is always doing those things. When they start crying in the middle of the night, I have no clue why, nor do I know how to stop it. Hey, it's our job to cry. Doesn't matter if it's the middle of the night. We'll cry when we feel like it. <laughs> this game. I see. And here I this, this game. She got to sleep while I was out working all night. Your wife probably hasn't had a decent night's sleep since the little one came into the picture, you know? And even if she does get a sec to rest, you never know when she's gonna have to get back up. Sounds pretty freaking exhausting. Oh. Masato-chan, you should sit down and talk with your wife. I said that. Sure it's hard for both of you, but your relationship's probably strained right now because neither of you have taken the time to hear each other out. You're right. I guess at some point I started to think I was the one having the tougher time. But I never thought about how my wife was feeling. I'm gonna talk to my wife when I get home. I'll make sure we raise our kid right. I'm a father after all. <laughs> yeah, that's the spirit. What I feel like they were made by two different designers, out. like with them standing Please beside each other. Support one another. Go on. Like one of them has like way more lighting, and the other one does not. You got this baby's approval, so I'm sure you'll do just fine. Thank you. Well, I'll be going now. Best of luck. Well, all's well that ends well, I guess. You bet. Boss, sorry we're late. We bought the formula. Ooh. Well then. Why don't we drink to the man who became a proper father? Okay, never mind. I was like, wait, doesn't he still need the formula? But I, I guess not. Me? What? That's right. No need to be shy. <sighs> Fine. Sure. What the hell? Yeah, baby. Ah, that's God's work right there. What do you think? Good shit, ain't it? Yeah, ain't half bad. Not what I was expecting right, he was going to say, right. but okay. Boys, two more baby bottles. Room temp. Uh, Room yes, temp. Now, let's say we enjoy this second bottle good and proper. Huh? Boys? 
Get this man a diaper. Yes, sir. Yo, hold up. I didn't say shit about wearing a... Hey, what the hell, man? Let me go! Yo, if you don't cut it out, I'll... Oh. I was right about getting another summon. I don't know how I'm editing these episodes, but I think this one's going to end and another one's going to start. Because I'm looking at it, I've been recording for an hour, but I don't know. I don't know. Either the episode's randomly going to end right now or it's going to cut to something else where I'm doing the main mission. What the heck, man? <laughs> so before ending this video, I just want to talk about this long, super long side quest I had to do. Um, with this girl in a wheelchair who was going through this surgery. I forget what the surgery was, but basically she had like no type of determination. And that fruit that you saw in the tree, she kind of stares at it and kind of use it as some sort of like, like um, determination to stay alive and stuff. So basically the quest starts off with me making sure that nothing happens to that fruit and it stays up in the tree. But what made this quest so long is that it's kind of time related so i had to like run around and eat food i did get some better uh equipment for my party finally but um you have to come back in and check back in every so often in which case uh this time it was a uh sumo wrestler who was doing the uh ora ora oras against the tree can't have that a sniper guy with a toy gun trying to shoot the fruit also can't have that and even some kid hammering a straw doll to a tree. Um, I think he was being a simp or something for this girl who they touched each other's hands and he thought they were dating all of a sudden. Y yeah. Yeah, that was... Four. So I beat him up too. Doesn't matter. Don't matter what age. Everybody catching hands. But uh, then all of a sudden the girl comes out the hospital and she's fine. She's been watching us the whole time defend the tr defend the fruit. She becomes ex inspired, almost it expired. Wow. Ooh, and right yeah, she ends up being okay. So with that said, it's thank you for watching. On the next episode, we're going to continue with the main mission finally. And um, hopefully I won't die anymore or get hit by cars. <laughs>